I've been living in the area uh, in Tufnell Park it, since 1996. And what has struck me in that period that I've been living here is the way that Jeremy nurtures his relationships with all the different communities in Islington and especially the different religious and ethnic communities, different neighbourhoods, different generations. I've encountered Jeremy just walking on the street, um, him cycling past. I've seen him stopping when somebody says, oh, Jeremy, I need to ask you something. And even if he's really, really busy, he will stop and he will have that conversation. He will take his little notebook out and he'll make a note of what that person's concern was and, and deal with it. And he's, he's not afraid to interact with the public. There's so many politicians now that, that seem to be very afraid of the public rather than interacting with them. But that is how he is, that's how he's always been. The place where I met Jeremy for the first time, which would have been sometime in the late 1980s, and where I've encountered him so many times, has been campaigning in the anti-racist and anti-fascist movement. And what I've been struck by in the way that Jeremy campaigns within that is the manner in which he supports the victims of racism, but also how he articulates really, really good, solid arguments against racism and against fascism. And at the heart of those arguments, they're about human rights, they're about equality, and they're about dignity for people. I've been fortunate to be very involved with the five yearly commemorations of the Battle of Cable Street in 1936. The Battle of Cable Street was the iconic clash between fascism and anti-fascism in Britain. It happened in the heart of the East End of London, which was an area where my family were living at the time. It's an important moment in Jewish history when Jewish people came out in huge numbers but were joined by non-Jewish anti-fascists too. And at these commemorations that we've had, Jeremy has often been a speaker and I've had the pleasure of introducing him and he tells about how he first heard about Cable Street. Not reading about it in books but hearing it from his mother who was actually there. And that is something that burns within him and people get the messages that yes this is what's happened in the past but we've got to use that history right now and in the future because although fascism, the fascists were defeated in the 1930s, fascism itself has come round again. He has always been on the side of people, fighting their struggles, not just for them, but with them, absolutely alongside them. And that's why I'll be supporting and I'll be voting for Jeremy Corbyn for Islington North.